Welcome back to Inspire DIY. Wire. My name is Max, and today we're going to be making this um, uh, winter melon soup with rice. Okay, so if I come up with a better name, I'll just put that in the title, I guess. So this idea is taken from my mom, actually, uh, when we were living in Japan during winter. Uh, you know, it gets pretty cool and chilly, and then uh, she always makes this a uh, very simple winter melon soup and, you know, putting in rice and, you know, just a, it's a quick lunch or dinner meal. But of course, if I'm making it myself, I gotta adapt the recipe. So today, we're gonna be using my uh, pork stocks that I made the other day, or pork bone broth. Um, and that one is a little bit too intense, so we're gonna be toning it down by making the broth out of this, uh, this radish here and then adding the winter melon, ginger, and garlic. And also going to be adding some dry shiitake for that umami flavor. So, let's get started. We don't need to slice all these finely, we can just roughly uh, smash them up and then add them into uh, the Instant Pot. So let's fill this up and let it go. And for the extra sweetness, I'm going to be adding in some dates. And I almost forgot, let's throw in some green onions as well. So let this go for about an hour. We'll do high pressure cooking for about an hour, and we'll be right back. Alright, the broth is ready, so we're going to be adding this into the pot we're going to be cooking. Then we're going to be adding the pork bone broth here. Now we're going to have to dice up this uh, winter melon, so I'm just going to cut off all the, the skin and then um, dice them into like uh, small cubes. And just work around it slowly to remove all the seeds. Just cut them up. So yeah, about an inch cube side. That looks good. So we're gonna add all these into the soup. And if you're smarter than me, you would have used a different pot. And in the second pot, I'm just setting up to cook some rice here. Okay, so the rice is cooked, and uh, I got this ground beef that I sautéed yesterday. And then I'm just going to be adding this in. I'm going to go in some fish sauce. Some sesame oil. And then some fresh grounded black pepper. So as long as your broth is good and nutritious, um, it does probably 80% of the work already. Just gonna be adding these in. So we're just reheating uh, the, the ground beef, but basically everything is already ready to go. So once it comes to a boil, uh, we can serve it. So I'm using this brown rice and also this mix of with uh, wild rice which is why the color comes out a bit darker than usual. Sprinkle with some green onions. Love it. Please subscribe if you like the content. Thanks for watching.